Hey, what it do, bro? Check me out. Slim checking in, little Cinco Drinko. Was like bored. Was gonna go to Vegas. What's up, boss? Biscuit, what it do? Yeah, uh, I check it out, but uh, yeah, little Cinco Drinko. I was gonna um do the do the uh yeah we smoking paper. Yeah, I was gonna do the um what the fuck I was gonna do to Vegas. It's Cinco de Mayo. Let's have a Cinco Drinko. You know what I'm saying? Adult. Adult love, love resort. Do y'all know that Galveston is closer? I say Galveston. Do y'all know that uh, Mexico is closer to my fucking Houston than Miami? This shit is closer to Houston than Miami. How much I paid for the flight to get here? Just so you know. Oh, fucking shit. Keep going on. Hold on, right quick, motherfucker. This wind blowing my beard into my goddamn joint. That bitch going out. Bitch, I'm fucking good. Burn just right here because of you. Pay like two hundred dollars to get here. Was it even that? Huh? Yo, two hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? I paid two hundred dollars to get here, and it was first class. <laughs> You get it. I, the first night, so I moved so last minute. Let me tell you, I flew first class here. They upgraded me. I had an zero at first. They upgraded me to first class because I got a flight path. So then, trying to let my joint go out in the midst of my top. First night, it, I got here late Friday. I think it was Friday. Nah, I didn't catch the Canelo fight. Friday, I got here about 10 something. So I was trying to book here. They wouldn't let me book. It was too late. My homeboy told me, man, I'm out here. He, well, I seen him out here. I said, man, I'm going to come out there, bro. I'm bored. So he was like, I'm at the, you know what I'm saying? Come through. I booked my flight, I tried to come here first night, it was too late, they wouldn't let me, so I checked in at the Westin. That shit was like a hundred and some dollars for that night, a hundred and some dollars. Man, and then what's so crazy, as soon as I checked in the hotel, I ran into a bunch of girls. I was like, God damn. At the Western, I'm like, damn. I ran into a bunch of girls. Y'all know them, but I ain't gonna be like, put people in this who it is. But it was a lot of, a lot of, I was like, damn, that's crazy. So then I left here. I mean, I left there and came in my partners here. You know what I'm saying? 
Now these hotels hot though. These hot. This now this that was a hundred and something, maybe two hundred. This shit here was like seven hundred because you got the balcony. I need that balcony where I can beat uh, Carlos and smoke on the balcony. I'm a rapper. I don't get it fucked up. I ain't broke. <laughs> I'm just cheap. There's a difference. I'm not gonna lie on myself. I want the balcony. I want the good. Room. Hardest thing to do is to go to the cheapest place because these girls ain't got no money to be paying for this shit. 800, 600 a night, hell no. They gonna be with that shit for the low, so you regular, go to the regular spot. <laughs> but I'm not even tripping. I ain't even go out last night, nigga. On a Saturday, that's how old I am, bro. Like, I don't even care. I just wanna relax. We had went to the pool yesterday. My partner was like, man, we finna hit the... I mean, we turned up at the pool, got a little drunk. So I'm gonna hit right. Yeah, so... I'm trying to keep my J alive. Fuck this, fuck this thug of dude. Commercial break. Yeah, so it's live Saturday night after the pool party. I was good. I took a power nap thinking, like, I'm going to go out tonight. Shit, we woke up. I was like, hell no. Nah. That fan and that mattress, a joint on a balcony here in this water, I'm good. I already been to the club last night. I seen how ratchet it was. Sometimes you can't beat this shit. Look, listen. That's all you need right there, man. That water crashing. That's all you need to do is hit that shit with that fan on and relax, my nigga. Like, what? When you 42, sleeping six is on the same level. When you 42, it's like the yeah, Sleeping six, they right there together. Like, so. You don't need nothing else. You get the standing up and shit in the club. I don't smoke hookah. It's ratchet. Good thing I'm not Slim Thug out here. Well, I am a little bit. Simeon, what's up, brother? I, uh, I'm, I'm Slim Thug a little bit sometimes out here, but most of the time, that's why I like to get away. I be a regular nigga, that bitch just looking around. Nigga be like, man, I know you get this shit all the time. You look like Slim Thug. I say, hell yeah, I get that shit all the time, nigga. <laughs> and nigga be like, yeah. And they think it ain't me. But I don't care to correct people. Cause if you really my fan, you supposed to know me, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> how the fuck you don't know how I look, nigga? It's me. This shit empty. Look at this shit. Damn. Damn. Ain't this a bitch? Yeah, I'm Curtis. Curtis is my name. If you don't know, that's my my nickname. I call, I tell everybody my name, Curtis. I remember I was messing with this chick. <laughs> Hey, you know them extra motherfuckers be? They be like, I just threw my little J off the back. You know how extra people be sometimes? They be like, I, I don't want to call you Slim Thug. I want to call you by your real name. What's your real name? I tell the bitch my name, Curtis. So everywhere we go, she want to call me. Hold on one second. Hold on. I just heard some bad news. Ain't this a bitch? I heard one of my homeboys got smoked last night, man. That's crazy than a motherfucker. What the fuck happened? Dude, I know from my homeboy. That's crazy.
Fuck, that is my boy. I just talked to this nigga a day or two ago, man. Like he just hit me up. He just seen that million dollars worth of game and just sent me a. Uh, he shouted out me, man. He said something real to me. I was, I shot. I'm glad I hit him back too, man. Damn, that's crazy, man. Damn, that's wild. I'm gonna have to check that out. so crazy man that shit just don't stop man every day is some more shit going down <laughs> more shit last night was trash we had a day party boy say so finna get breakfast man yeah man condolences to my boy family man I don't know if people know but it happens so I ain't gonna say it man. but damn that's crazy bro Good dude. Some shit happened in Miami. They got it was a shootout in the club. Oh yeah, Curtis. I'm Curtis, man. Like yo, girl. So she one of them extras that want to, you know, uh, walk around and call you by your, you know, name. I don't want to call you Slim. I want to call you. Uh, Exactly, right? Like, let's go back to what I was just saying. That happened in the club, what I just said just happened. That's why I didn't care to go to the club last night. It's too much dumb shit. And that's everywhere. It's so crazy that it's everywhere. I ain't gonna lie, here I wasn't thinking danger. But being in America and that being what's up all the time is like, man, nigga don't even care to go to the club no more. It's too stupid. Like, niggas is in there not to find bitches, but to shoot up each other. It's like, so I don't even go nowhere that much no more. I be like, I go to old clubs where I know old people gonna be at. I like to go to like white people clubs and shit like that where I know ain't shit gonna go down. I do the hood shit just cause it's in my blood. But I got I gotta move a certain way. You gotta leave early and shit. You gotta be, you know what I'm saying, on your toes. Nigga don't got time for that, man. But yeah, man, it's crazy, man. But but uh. Yo, girl walking around calling me Curtis in front of everybody. So she thinks she she trying to be special, <laughs> but looking crazy in front of everybody. Talking about Curtis, you're wild, Curtis. <laughs> she thought she knew me. She thought she was close. Thought she was closer to me. You see? Yeah, that's crazy. She walk around this bitch thinking she's special. And she calling me Curtis the wrong name. Appreciate that. This my homeboy, homeboy, man. Oh shit, that's why old boy posted that. My homeboy posted that. Shit, I'm just putting it together. Yeah. But yeah, man, shit be wild, man. That's why you gotta get this beach, man. You gotta get this shit right here working, man. Get away. Just, just chill, man. Fuck out that turn it up all the time. Just feel that wind breeze. Smoke you a J. See how my feet ugly and shit just posted up. On the patio, smoking me a J. Unbothered, listening to the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Listen to that. Look at this dumbass, though. Fuck is you doing, buddy? Where the hell is you headed to? I hope you know how to swim good. He's steady, try, he's steady testing the water. If you think I'm a lifeguard, you got your rabbit ass mind. I'm gonna just record you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show everybody what happened. But if you think I'm coming to save you, you got another thing coming, buddy. Why go so far out? Is we gonna watch a suicide? Is this nigga gonna kill himself? Like, this is how far he is. I zoomed in that far. This is how far he really is, though. Let's look at the. Okay. I 
that's how you get the fucking up. See them waves? You think you get the thinking, hey man, this shit, I can walk on this shit. But when you dip down, see one of them big waves gonna slap the shot in and pull you back further. And then next thing you know, you're gonna be out there somewhere. And then how you gonna do that? And then you're gonna try to come back this way, but them waves gonna keep throwing you back that way. You feel me? And that's why you gotta stay the fuck out the way and stay close to the sand and the land. Cause you tripping. That's the new shit they do. That's what they do now. Y'all can hear me? Okay, yeah. So, Tillman actually uh, <clears throat> had helicopters come drop chlorine all down here. If you can see, you can see how it's light right here, like a pool, right? Yeah, yeah. So, he do this like a pool. He, they figured out scientifically it's 2023. If they know how to motherfucking do all this other shit, of course they know how to clean the ocean. So he said, he go, oh boy. Thank God he made it back. Crazy, man. Yeah, but, uh, so yeah. They began to... They began to uh, put chlorine down the, you know what I'm saying? Down the, the shore of the galaxy to see why. It worked. It worked. Look at it. It worked. You can see the chlorine got this part clear. It gets a little darker as you look out there, right? So yeah, they fixed Galveston up. If you ain't been to Galveston in a while, you need to pull back up. Book your flight. They, they stepped this shit up. Ever since Tillman got the Rockets, he been wild. He been spending that bread on shit. Yeah, so... That's what Galveston looked like. If you Google it and, and the water looked darker, that was before they began the chlorine movement. So don't worry about the pictures online. They just ain't update that yet. But this is what 2023 Galveston looks like. Right? Gotcha. So y'all gonna book y'all flights if you from out of town. Come on down. Come on down. Yeah. G-Town is like that, man. They got yachts and all kind of shit out here, man. It's the new Miami. It's the new Miami, man. Pull up. Ralton is in Surfside, though. If you want to come to this 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 resort, it's not on the mix and everybody else said. It's in Surfside. 
That's what a private at. You know, private resorts in Surfside turn up on the seawall. So it's like, yeah. It ain't no fish right here, buddy. You don't see no fish right here? Exactly. It's, they probably smell the chlorine and go back. I ain't no fish right here, bro. They made this a pool, like a pool. Y'all niggas doubting signs? Okay. Stay where you at then. If you don't want to come see it, stay where you at. I'm trying to put you ahead of the curve with niggas and get you a cheap trip with your girl for the low, nigga, and show you the new shit. You say, all right, Slim, you be doing the shit. You the boss of uh, uh, Texas. Show me the private shit. I'm trying to show you the exclusive shit. And niggas is doubting me, okay? All right. That's a bet. Stay where you at then, kid. Stay where you at. <clears throat> yeah, man. We outside. Just relaxing, man. I'm finna, uh, step out, go get breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Well, some. We in Galveston. We in Galveston, Texas. This is Galveston, Texas, on the seawall. Surfside, I mean. <laughs> Surfside. Yeah. That's us. The new and improved Surfside. Yeah, man, I'm finna get off here. I need this battery. I need this battery for my day, today's activities. Uh, overnight, I had it charged up and got killing my battery. So, Appreciate that, man. Glad you like the Million Dollars Worth of Game interview. If y'all ain't seen my Million Dollars Worth of Game interview, go check that out. Much love, man. I'll see y'all later.